This is awesome. We just got these two printed. So it all depends on what you do. This is an awesome tool. Pouring rain outside. It's not the nicest day. But we got a package today, and I'm excited about this one. But I don't think I've got all the packages here, so I'm gonna see what I've got. Let's find out. You're gonna open with me. This is a teaser. So this is the X Tool um, rotary attachment. The other one I got is the slide extension. I don't have the X Tool yet. So I got two, I think I'm supposed to have five boxes all together. I can't wait to try this out. When they reached out to us and asked us if we'd be willing to try this, I was all over this. This is awesome for branding, for all the kind of stuff that we do. You know, everything. So I'm excited about this. So we got something in the mail. The other half. Which one's the uh, main one? So let's open this up. Looks so cool. Now this is the X tool. So this is a laser. And this does a lot of engraving and cool stuff like that. So we're gonna get this thing set up and see what we can do with this thing. I'm excited about this one. But we'll get it set up and show you the whole yeah, setup. It's the F1 by x -Tool. Lots of information, which is awesome. I it. guess we have to read the instructions too. Lots of boxes that are coming out of this thing. So this is the machine itself. Got the vent on the back, which will hook up to this other machine here, which is the smoke part. On off button, looks like a fuse. Well, these are uh, sample materials. Cool. Probably power cord. Yep. Power cord. More power. Never have enough power. <laughs> uh, exhaust. To hook up. I'm in the garage. I don't really care about that. Uh, but we will hook all that up for demonstration purposes. We've got the slider, which we will hook up, and we've got the rotation tool as well. Now I gotta study, get everything cleaned up, and show you how to do this. It really packed us really well. That's a good thing. This is the air filter. Um, I just opened this, but inside here, I don't have my um, tripod. So I'm doing this with one hand. Is a filter, and that will filter your air which is gonna come out here. So it's gonna be sucked in the bottom and they come out this one. So I just pulled this out. This is one big filter system. You can hear the charcoal in there. Um, but all that does is just fits right in here. Air is sucked in and blown out. So I'm just downloading the X Tools um, app onto the laptop. So I'm just playing around here, trying to get things to set. I haven't hooked up this the air purifier. I'm in the garage, so um, let's try something here. Let's see how this works. I'm not too sure. I'm just using a piece of scrap wood. just on a scrap piece of wood that I had. Um, I didn't want to waste one of those other ones. Um, my first test, actually. I like how it actually comes out though. Once I can figure out a few things and I can get it uh, done properly though. It's awesome. So, uh, do not leave advice. 
continues. Okay. Press button. So let's press button. So I've been playing with some different settings. This is the first one I did. The second one, you can see it's a lot darker. This isn't a good piece of wood, but this is scrap piece. And the one I'm doing right now is even darker, as you can see. It's actually pretty cool. This is the last setting you can see. I like that actually. This was the first one I was just trying to figure things out. So yeah, and even with this, you can see how it gets right into that crack. Got right in there. Where these ones, not so much. The wood. But yeah, it's all in your settings. That's awesome. Love it. But I'm trying a piece of plastic right now. Let's see what happens. On the darkest setting. So I put some duct tape here so you can actually see it work a lot better. It doesn't, it doesn't print on the white or melt, um, but it did on this. So that's what I was trying to get to do the same thing. With the intensity, this one didn't turn out too well, but changing it actually worked pretty well. This is on the duct tape, I'm just curious. Ah. Interesting. So I can change the settings here. And so this is what I'm trying to do now. Again, this is a scrap piece of wood, so it's not the best. But it shows you can engrave on anything. That is awesome. I had to figure this out a little. When you're doing a cylinder, it has to be reversed. Otherwise, it comes out reversed. If you do it reversed, it comes out just right. So it all depends on what you do. This one, I mean the details are amazing. Caden's water bottle. So this is what this one turned out like. So using the Xtool program is actually fairly simple. So I imported this logo. It can be a JPEG, it doesn't really matter. You can convert it, like if it's color or whatever, you can convert it to black and white. Um, you can convert it um, black and white, line, you can make it crisper, etc., etc. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna frame it. Actually, first of all, um, let's cancel that. Um, what I need to do is pick what I'm gonna do. So the machine's on. I'm going to do this. I've been doing a bunch of little things. Um, and then I need to focus this in. So you see the blue and the red lines? We combine them. If I'm burning something, I would just use the blue. But then I'm gonna kinda line this up a little. Now I'm going to hit the framing button. So I'm gonna hit the framing button. What that does is that puts the area that it's going to imprint. So it gives you time to line it up however you want. So that's kind of big. So I'm gonna make it actually smaller. So I'm trying to show you everything. So I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller to fit in. I'm gonna line it up with the crosshairs. I'm gonna hit framing again. So we come back over here. And you can see how it's smaller now. So I'm going to line that up. So if I wanted to go side, like to the side, well, which I'm probably going to do right there. So now I'm going to go back over here, turn off framing, I'm going to hit process, and then I'm going to hit start, which tells me now to go press here, which now starts the printing. I have to pick which one I was doing. Obviously, I picked the right one. The white's a hard color to print on, or to laser on. But 
this is if you want to brand things. Like that. Sometimes what I'll do is I will just run it through a second time. So I'm doing it on an aluminum sheet. That's what I'm doing it on. Aluminum is a very reflective material. So it's um, hard to, to print on. As you can see, prints on there. So I've done this with a lot of different things. This is me practicing um, on round things. Um, I've printed quite a few different things that, to practice on. But I mean, simple as, you know, here's my knife. This is aluminum, so it's hard to really see. You can see Tasha the pug. Little simple things like, you know, a pencil. Where did I do it? Oh, right there. So, I mean, pretty much anything you can think of, you can do. Now this doesn't really matter on this. What I like to do is I like to get in closer uh, for a better. Now it also comes, we have the, um, the air purifier, which I don't have hooked up right now. Um, all it does is plugs into the back, plugs in over there. This hose goes to there, it goes through a filter system, and it cleans the air, which is it's great. We've got the roller right here. And the one that I haven't used yet is this. So this is supposed to be able to do multiple items at the same time. So if I had coasters, I could do one, two, three, four. Or if I wanted to do a longer item, I could do that too. So I still gotta play with this one. Now, if I want to do the same thing and do it with laser, I could probably do the same. Let's find out. So it's always good to protect your eyes and have this cover down. So there's different lasers for different things. Because so the other one will burn and the other's an, kind of an engraver. So if I were to take this and put this in the way, you'll see it. But on the wood, so yeah, different lasers, different um, purposes. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Um, turning this sideways to go into here. Stop this process. What's it doing? So I'm just gonna frame it. Looks like it's all good. Okay. So this is just me printing it sideways because it's bigger to see if this works. But this is where you can print four different things or five different things, however you have it set up. But if I wanted to print something long, oh, I just have it sideways here. There, we just finished printing. So this is printing it sideways. It makes it bigger. If I print it normal, this is the size. So you can see with this design, it's longer. So it prints off to a different size, which is actually kind of cool. Let's try something else. I'm gonna try this. This is a longer one. I'm gonna try putting it on a level. Let's see what happens. So I, I just stopped it so it doesn't get everything, but let's see, I bumped it in here as well. Um, you can see where I bumped it, on the S and the E. But this is an old level. I just thought I'd play around with it. Yeah, that works actually. I would do it nice smaller next time, but I wanted to play with the length. But I also scratched up my, uh... Dang it. So what I've done is just cut four pieces of cardboard. So I can see how it's gonna fit on here. 
I just need to adjust this. Fine. I know where everyone's gonna fit. Hit start. It means you press the button here. Everything's lined up. So, you can see here, I was off on this one. Because these aren't square. I should have turned them the other way. But again, I'm just kind of playing around. What I like is if I wanted to do three or four um, items, I can. This is awesome. We just got these two printed. Figuring out alignments and stuff is a little bit tricky, but we'll, we'll, I'll do a clear coat on this and then we'll sell these. It's awesome. These are two leather patches. So let's see what happens here. I've got the air on to purify the air right now. I should have it attached right now, but I forgot. So I'll just aim it this way. So if you adjust this correctly, you can do like up to four. You could actually do more if you space things properly. I love how this machine works. This is an awesome tool. If you haven't gotten one, you definitely need to get one. This is the X tool. It's a laser. Here's the fan, cleans the air, so it doesn't put a lot of that in the air. So this is one of our new logos. I was just playing around on some of the business cards. Kaden wanted a gold card. Um, as well print, as the IP card. Printing on wood, um, leather. Um, here's some coasters for wood. I was a little off on that one. I figured things out as I go. Um, but I've printed so many different things just in practicing and playing and um, I did a When I was playing here, you know, I, I wasn't sure how it went. So this one's backwards, but I mean Prints on anything, right? This was done with a burner Which I've had a long time ago, but this was done with the laser so Pretty cool. I love it I wouldn't change anything. This is an awesome tool. The X tool. Go get it.